We now come to a triple tag team contest, ladies and gentlemen. Six men. May I first of all introduce the captain on the rec in the red corner, Bert Royal. Vic Faulkner. And the wonder boy they have specially asked for, Dynamite Kid. On my left and in the blue corner, the captain, Tally Ho K. Black Jack Mulligan. And Kenny Hogan. Your referee once again, Mr. Brian Crabtree of Halifax. This contest is to be decided by the first two of three falls, submissions, or a knockout. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen, this is to be decided by three falls, three submissions, or three KOs. All right? That's it. Everybody understands the situation now. So, in other words, it could leave, after two knockouts, it could leave one man taking on three men here. But with no partners left. The bell hasn't gone yet, but somebody thinks it has, obviously. It looks like Mulligan versus Faulkner. Oh, there's a lot of men going to be in the ring before this one's over. Second night of the first session. <laughs> Thirty minutes duration. Three falls to decide. Faulkner versus Mulligan. Faulkner in the trunks trying a quick fall, and they're getting it. And Faulkner getting the first fall in the first minute. <laughs> After twenty seconds, ladies and gentlemen, the first fall goes to the Burt Royal team. Well, how about that? That was a quick one. 20 seconds into the bout. 30-minute bout. 20 seconds in, Vic Faulkner gets the first fall over Mulligan. I, I don't think I've seen anything fast as that in a tag match before. Peter Kay doesn't like it. And, of course, the rule is that the same two men must continue the tag contest. So I wonder if Faulkner can do it again. Got to be Faulkner versus Mulligan still. Second round, second session. And it walks into another drop kick, and Mulligan could be now. So he's on the way to a knockout there. As again, Faulkner goes down in a reverse double knee hold and nearly brings it off. Mulligan better get out of here pretty sharpish. He's, yes, he's going to tag his uh, partner, who doesn't want to come in because Royals come in opposite him. So Kay is staying away, but now he's got to come in. But tags Hogan immediately, so the big boy comes in against Royal. Two that fought earlier in the single wrestling match, which Royal won by the one four required. So Royal versus Hogan. Can Royal deliver a fall as quick as his brother Vic did over Mulligan? And a tag. In comes Dynamite Kid to Big Boy Hogan. And he could be in trouble here. He better not get too close here. He's giving away a lot of weight here. Hogan at 14 stone 2, and the Kid at 11 stone 4. So nearly 3 stone. He mustn't get too near. His delivery is. Drop kicks from a distance. Jack, Jack. Screaming from the right hand corner there, the K Peter Kay. Good posting by Hogan. Meantime, Mulligan getting told off for doing something illegal, but he's on the tag rope. They're all on tag ropes at the moment. Missed by a long way there. Crutch hold and slam to the kick. 
a wonder who's going to lift it. Paul Nelson, Hogan. And the kid doing very well for the Royal Brothers, who especially asked for him, and waiting for Hogan to come in, and he came in. With us. Oh, beautiful folding press. He's got him, he's got the big man. So two minutes, 45 seconds. Into the second session, the kid gets Hogan down with a fall. Two minutes, 45 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. The second fall goes to the Burt Royal team. Well, the Royals and Dynamite Kid, there they are, the team. Only want one more now, and they've got the boat. It was great, that kid kicking on a man of three stone heavier and still beating him at, at, at uh, pretty good neat fall there. Hogan walked into trouble. And Peter Kay surely has got to come and do some work soon. Peter Kay's been on the tag rope outside on the right there all the time. But of course, he can't come in now. Hogan versus the kid. Hogan surely can't let that happen again. He won't fall for that one a second time. Still the kid doing well, though. Trying for the lean back monkey climb and almost got it. Trying for it again. But Hogan's caught his balance beautifully. Oh, a nasty drop. A hell of a back drop. And a kid liable not to get up from that. Now, for the first time, Peter Kay gets in the ring to an injured opponent. And surely the slam must finish it. Must be a fall for them now, surely. Or a knockout or a submission or something. Crabtree keeping him away to leave us up. And another back weakener on the posting. And Kay thinks he's really doing something here now, but he, he came in for the first time against the injured youngster. And he's slamming him ever since. But no, he's letting Mulligan in. He's tagged Mulligan. Mulligan against Kidd. And again, more back weakness, of course, coming the kid's way, but the referee breaks them for attacking too early. And of course, the three men now over on the right, they're ke keeping the dynamite kid well away from his corner so he can't tag either Burt Royal or Vic Faulkner, who are waiting patiently in the opposite corner there on their tag ropes. And surely a Boston crab here. And yes, he's given. So it's 2-1 then. Four minutes, 40 seconds into this bout. And K, for his team, gets the first fall over the Dynamite Kid. That's what wrestling does! Up to four minutes, 40 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. The Tally Ho team get their first fall. But it's not over yet because this is fought over three. Over 30 minutes for three fall, three submissions or three knockouts. In any second now, we continue the score to the TV All Stars leading 2 1 at the moment. Second round, fourth session. And the kids got to continue against Peter K. Tally L. K. Now, can the kid get back to this corner as fast as he can and tag either Burt Royal or Vic Faulkner, preferably Royal, because Kay is very scared of going in against him. Mulligan in, Kay in, and takes over. Mulligan takes over the hole, but still they won't allow the kid to the, his own corner. The Royal Brothers waiting patiently, hoping for a chance to be tagged. And the kid in real trouble with his back now, but he's got to continue until he can get over and tag one of his partners. Peter Kay taking over. And far too early, his man was still down. Oh, 
Faulkner getting nearer, Royal getting near as he can, over, leaning over the top rope. The tag must occur over the top rope, of course. A backbreaker, they should probably get another submission here. Can the kid get over? He's trying to force Peter K back. Yes, he's got him, and Royal's in. Now Kay's in trouble. Now Kay is in trouble. He couldn't avoid taking on Royal there. So Royal really can't get some of his own back for his team here. And Faulkner taking over now against Kay. And slashing Mulligan a quick one. A drop kick to Kay. And Royal in again against Kay. Drop kicks him before he's even up. Another posting. Oh, Kay wishes he hadn't come in there against that injured boy. And the first double knee holder, Royal, surely must have it. And that is three falls to one. The TV All-Stars win in six minutes, 32 seconds from the start of the bout. Three falls to one. Up to six minutes, 32 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. The Bird Royal team get their third and winning fall. Your appreciation, please, for Bird Royal, Vic Faulkner, and the Dynamite Kids. May I ask for a hand for the losers, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you, Stan Rylands, and with that win by three falls to one for the TV All-Stars over the K team, the Tally Ho team. It's goodbye from all of us here at Bolton. A very happy Christmas to you all, and have a good time. Till next time.